Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. So today's video is just a little disturbing to me, the video i seen of the one-hit wonder, Bama-ass rapper, Blueface. I don't like the fact that, um, actually it's quarantine right now anyway, so it shouldn't even be a video shoot going on. If y'all had any sense, y'all would be in the house, so you know, we could stop the spread and, you know, we could go back to normalcy and go back to, you know, our regular lives. But, you know, it's, it's always ignorant people everywhere. So let me go and get into it. So the video was posted on YouTube of a beautiful black girl, you know, um, I guess she had showed up at the photo shoot or the video shoot at Blueface House and, um, it was other girls' day, I guess, you know, um, of different races that was there. You know, I don't know if it was Spanish, Puerto Rican, or just light-skinned um, black women that was there. But they kept teasing a girl, you know, because she was of darker complexion. She was a beautiful dark-skinned woman. So one girl... Um, pushed um, the dark-skinned woman down and, you know, took her wig off and tried to embarrass her. Just, you know, picking with her, why? Because, you know, it seemed like so many people be just jealous of melanin. They just be jealous of beautiful black women. Like, what was that about? Like, why would you sit right there and pull this woman's wig off her head? Like, what, what was that about? And for Blueface to even allow that shit to happen, that's why his career is not never going to flourish no way. The only song I know about is fucking Tall, Linky, Slinky. It's so much stuff I want to say, but, you know, <laughs> Goof Troop looking ass nigga with this fucking hot top fade on his head, Obama ass. Only song I know is Tatiana. That's the only song. So, you know, he need to come out with some more hits instead of sitting right there degrading women. They said it was only one dark-skinned woman there. Why is that? Why is people so colorist, like, against their own skin? That shit really, like, bothered me. But what bothers me about this young woman is why was you at a photo shoot anyway, at a video shoot, when you're supposed to be in a house somewhere? If you're not at work, if you're not, like, a a healthcare worker or a grocery store worker or however, you supposed to be at home unless your job unless you had a real job. But no, you out at like a video shoot. And I'm not degrading no one um by saying a video shoot is not a job. There's a lot of, you know, beautiful video vixens out here, but right now it's not the time. How much do y'all get paid anyway? Like a hundred dollars a video shoot? That's not no money. To sit right there and jeopardize y'all lives by like, you know, you can contract the coronavirus or anything because you're supposed to be social distancing yourself. So, he's an old washed up has-been-ass rapper that came out with a Thoughtiana song about a year or two ago. I haven't really heard too much from him since then. But, you know, from the video, he was, you know... He was very disrespectful to her. He let these women disrespect her, and he thought it was funny. She was telling him, like, excuse me, you know, they they picking on me, and she pushed me down and pulled my wig off, and he was like, they shouldn't have did that to you. Sorry about that, baby, and they shouldn't have did that to you, and, like, started laughing. Like, you could tell he's, like, a little boy, like, very young-minded, very immature, you know. I, I don't see what woman in their right mind would want to be with somebody like that. You know, he got a mindset of, like, a six-year-old. What was funny about them pulling this woman wig off? And that couldn't have been me, because the minute you would have touched my wig, my weave, anything, we would have got it scrapping. Y'all bitches would have had to jump me, excuse my language. And then I would have came back, and I'm not even going to say too much of what I would have did, because, you know, just know, you know what I'm saying, I would have been leaving out in handcuffs, because I wasn't going to rock like that. And Blueface would have got his ass whooped. To sit right there and allow them to, like, you know, treat that woman like that. Why? Because of the, colors, the color of her skin? You know, it's just sad. We already living in a racist, fucked up world. But then for our own people to be colorist against, you know, against us, it's just sad. 
you know, I, I feel like, you know, that young that young woman, she, she should have had enough respect for herself, you know, to not even go to a photo shoot. Yeah, that, she might consider that work or however, but we'll... You're not really getting no, no money like that if you do videos. I know starting out as a video vixen, you probably only receive like $50 a day or $100 a day. Or you might only just get be there for fame and notoriety. Like you might don't even get a paycheck at all. And e even if you do, it ain't going to be no more than, you know, $150 to $200. So you're going to jeopardize yourself knowing that it's a pandemic, knowing that the coronavirus is going on. You should have been somewhere in the house you know, so, social distance yourself, but you want to be around a low life, has been one hit wonder rapper. That doesn't make any sense to me. You should have had more respect for yourself. And I'd be damned if a bitch would have just took my wig off and I ain't do nothing about it. I don't care if they would have had to jump me. So, sweetheart, you need to, you know... Learn self-respect and know your worth to sit right there and cry. Oh, no, I wouldn't have cried about it, and I wouldn't have told Blueface about it. I would have beat that bitch's ass, whoever grabbed my wig, and we just would have got it scrapping. And whoever jumped in it, <laughs> if you jump me, you better kill me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say too much on this platform. But that's all I got to say about it. Please, guys, like, share, and subscribe to my video. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all on the next. Bye.